Hey everyone, right here is a really special set of nails that I am doing on my silicon hand, which is from Red Iguana. Um, it's so lifelike, it's borderline creepy. Um, right, so this set that I'm doing today, you've probably already seen it on Instagram, where I'm using puzzle pieces, like little jigsaw pieces. Now, this set means a lot to me because Glitter Arty um, sent me this sample to trial out to see how it worked and what we could do with it. And they have kindly decided, um, due to in April being Autism Awareness Month, that 50% of the sale of this glitter will be going to that charity. So yeah, this is why this set is quite special to us. I hope you really like it. It's, it's a bit crazy, but crazy colourful. Right, so that there is coconut milk from CJP. And all I'm doing now is I'm waiting for the acrylic to go um, matte, not sticky, not fully cured, just enough so that I can get this fishing wire and make some shapes into it, just making some indents into it. That one is quite hard to do when you're trying to hold the hand and push the fishing wire in, so I just had to get my um, craft knife in as well. So just random little shapes and lines, you know, there's no nothing, you know, just, just anything. Um, and then I'm just, I pre-made this glitter. Don't ask me what this is. I couldn't even tell you what I've done. I just kind of like mixed loads of different colors, which were the similar colors to these gorgeous little jigsaw pieces. Um, yeah, so all I've done is whilst that um, glittery acrylic is wet, I'm just picking up the jigsaw pieces with my wet brush and placing them in. If it has dried, then I'll just pick up a tiny amount of clear acrylic, pop it onto the free edge of this design, and then keep popping the jigsaw pieces in. Um, the free edge of this one, I thought I'd try and make it like a jigsaw, try and interlock them. Um, so it doesn't matter that they're hanging over the nail, the clear acrylic that's holding it into place, once that's fully cured, I'm just gonna go in and snip the sides of it and then fully encapsulate. When I come in with a file, anything that's sticking out will be removed that way. Now, in those indents, you're going to pick up wet, very, very, very super, super wet acrylic, and you're just going to place them into those indents. It will fill in the gaps, and at the end of it, because we're encapsulating those puzzle pieces, when you file it all, it will all just file away that's on top of it and reveal these nice, sharp neon lines. That one is Water Park. Um, from Glam and Glitz. The purple one is Purple Rain from Glitter Bells. The neon yellow is Bright Lights from Glam and Glitz. And the pink is Daisy from Glam and Glitz. And then we've got um, Tiffany Teal, and that's from Glitter Bells as well. So, like I say, it looks a bit of a crazy ass design right now, but I promise it will look beautiful at the end. Now, this middle nail. This is my mashup of glitter. I haven't got a freaking clue what I've used. Um, it's quite pretty. Um, but yeah, like I say, don't ask me what it is. Um, and then I'm just gonna put the puzzle pieces on the top of this nail. You will see on that little finger, it's it's um, bloody bright lights and like neon yellow. That's gonna be gone in a minute. Um, I haven't kept it in and I haven't recorded, you know, I've, I've snipped all that out. I originally did it with Angelina threads and did the yellow on the outside. And as this design progressed, I was looking at it and thinking, you don't fucking fit in, you don't belong here, mate. You're not part of this family. Who are you? Off you fuck. So I, um, I couldn't live with it because it's one of those sets I would have always looked at that bloody banana thinking, no, nah, no. Nah, no, you don't belong. You, you just, you know, like at Christmas and you've always got like, oh, Uncle Nobbed. He would be my Uncle Nobbed of the set. So that nail had to, it had to be gone. At some point I will use Angelina threads and show you how I use them, but not today. Now, would it even be one of my sets if I didn't put a marble nail in? But I even boring myself with a bloody marble. So this one's different and I really, really love it, okay? Stay with me, okay? 
So we've done the marble. We're picking up three wet beads and we're going to work it through. You know the drill. I do it every time. Um, but then things get a little bit crazy. Things will get a bit different. Um, and I'm going to do, you know, like that white one that I've done with the neon lines in it. We're going to do a bit of that. So once I've done that marble and I'm happy there, with my brush, I'm just going to just refine my shape. Get a little bit of a wave going on. Um, and that pushing it back creates a bit of a wall for me to push my white to it. Oh, here comes Ted. Ted. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to do this. So yeah, I'm kind of pushing that back and creating a wall. Oh yeah, here we go. I just felt it needed a little bit of yellow and I'm gonna put a bit of green in at the top as well and um, just Mom, fiddle with it. Hi, That's amazing, square. sweetheart. Oh, you made a square. You're so clever. Then I'm going to encapsulate in crystal glass this marble design so that I don't um, bugger it up when I come in and file it and that means it's just it's done we don't have to worry about it so I'll encapsulate that nail and then I'm going to go in again with the little bit of little what I used coconut milk for the free edge and the white will use again with the fishing wire and just jab in some lines and then add some neon color
Finally, it's time to encapsulate my whole design, making sure that nothing is sparkling back at me, everything's coloured, um, covered with the crystal glass. I don't need to worry about the um, the neon parts because they'll all get filed out. And here we are, we're back to Uncle Knobhead. Um, I've removed his sorry self, his banana skin is gone, and oh, I'm going to put a marble, you know, just a marble. But I know I'm predictable, but it goes with the set, it goes. I've got two nails with some, two nails with the jabby white lines, I've got two nails with the puzzle pieces and two nails with the marble it just works it's just the way my brain goes I had to do it um I think you agree that yellow nail would have just stuck out um so yeah that oh fuck I've just dropped them oh ball bag right bear with me I'm back I'm back I'm back I just dropped this stuff on the floor um yeah so I hope you really like this design as much as we, you know, me and the guys at Glitterati love it and I hope you agree that it is a fantastic cause that they are going to be supporting. Um, these puddle, 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 puzzle pieces will be available within about a week's time, I think. Um, but keep an eye on my Instagram um, and Glitterati's Instagram and there will be a release date for this. I know so many people are wanting it and asking me about it. But about a week, give me a week. And when you do get manage to get it in your basket, use my name and you'll get a little bit of a discount, okay? Um, on anything. Anything from Glitterati, you'll get a discount. And also Glitter Bells and Blue Street Crystals. Um, there's discount codes for all three of those. So, yeah, um, please support us, guys. And if you've enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more future crazy ramblings. Okay, bye.